On this episode of Monsters Inside Me, a patient schedules an emergency appointment with his doctor. He's worried about something. I've got white segments in my stool. The doctor asks the patient if he has any other symptoms and the patient responds no. The doctor then sends the patient home and sends the stool sample to the lab. He discovers that the patient is infected with T-cilium. T-cilium is a tapeworm that looks like this. T-cilium are white and flat with a sharp mouth-like skull X that attaches to surfaces. They can be two to seven meters long. Tapeworms are hermaphrodites because they are made up of segments called proglottids that can reproduce independently. T-cilium is called the pork tapeworm because it uses the pig as an intermediate host to get to its definitive host, the human. Humans are commonly infected by consuming undercooked pork and are then diagnosed with tenesis. In severe or chronic cases, symptoms of tenesis may include belly pain, loss of appetite, and weight loss. However, most cases of tenesis are asymptomatic, such as this one. The most visible sign of tenesis are proglottids and the feces. In the life cycle of T-solium, eggs and proglottids are passed with feces, and the pigs become infected by ingesting contaminated vegetation. The onchospheres slash eggs develop, hatch and develop into bladder-shaped worms called cystocera. Humans become infected by eating undercooked infected meat. The cystoceras develop into adult tapeworms. The adult tapeworms attach to the small intestine by their skull legs and live in the small intestine for the rest of their life cycle. The adults produce proglottids which detach from the tapeworm and are passed in the stool. But why did she have no symptoms though? Extensive research shows that tapeworms have the ability to deactivate certain immune system cells, leading to an immune relaxation. The tapeworm suppresses T helper type 1 cells, Th1 cells, which are responsible for attacking antigens. Tapeworms also induce activity from T helper type 2 cells, which are responsible for downregulating Th1 cells to prevent hyperactive immune responses. The treatment plan is to prescribe Prozicum cell to the patient to get rid of the intestinal infection. This was probably caused by him eating undercooked pork, so he warns the patient to cook meat thoroughly for the future. The patient is healthy now. 